Hello friends, welcome back to LMSLE.com. In today's video, we will take a look at the Auto Enroll Moodle plugin. The Auto Enroll Moodle plugin allows you to enroll the users in a course when either they log into your Moodle site or they access any other course. So this plugin, when enabled for a specific course, allows the users to enroll in that course when they are either logging into the Moodle site or when they access any other course on your Moodle site. So they will get access to this specific course also. So let us see how you can use this auto enroll plugin on your Moodle site. You can download this plugin from the Moodle plugins directory and I have shared the link in the description section below. So you can just click on that link to download this plugin from your uh, Moodle plugins directory and then afterwards you can follow the standard installation process to install this plugin. When you install that plugin, then afterwards, uh, how you have to configure that for a specific Moodle course, I will just show you right now. So let me navigate back to my Moodle site. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Moodle site as a admin and I will just go to the site admin to ensure that this enrollment method is enabled on my Moodle site. For that, you have to go to the site admin and then go to the plugins and then scroll down to the enrollment and then click on manage and roll plugins here. Now here you can see that I have this auto and roll plugin enabled on my Moodle site for you. If it is not enabled, you can just click this I icon to enable that plugin. Now it is enabled on the site uh, site level. Now let us go and add this auto and roll method at specific course level. So now I will just go back to one of my Moodle courses here on the site. So let us say we go to this course and here you need to go to the participants tab here and expand this drop down to enrollment methods. Okay, so now we have to uh, expand this drop down next to add method and select this auto enroll here. Now you will see the configuration page for this auto enrollment plugin for this specific course. So you can give it a name custom uh, label here if you would like for a specific uh, identification. And then uh, the second option is to allow the existing enrollment. So I will just keep it to the default. Yes. And the next option is to allow new enrollment. So if you would like to stop uh, any new enrollments who are using the auto enroll plugin, you can simply go back to the configuration page and uh, change this to no afterwards. Now in the next option, you can select the uh, assigned role whenever a user is enrolled by using this auto enroll uh, enrollment method. So as of now, I, ha I have chosen it for the student. So you can also use other roles here. And then uh, the next option is about the enroll when. So either when the course is loading or when they are logging into the site or uh, when they are getting a confirmation on the enrollment screen. So they uh, you can choose out of these three options whichever you would like to go for for this example i will just keep this to loading the course the next option is if you would like always enroll or the next option is for enable self and enroll so if you would like the users to uh, automatically enroll on themselves you can choose this to yes in the next field you can define the enrollment duration for this enrollment method let me say that if a user is using this enrollment method, so he will get access to my course for 365 days. And then uh, in the next field, you can uh, enable the notification time period, um, a notification uh, for the enrollment expires. So you can choose it here. And then you can have a notification threshold here. If you would choose something here, then you will get this field enabled. But for this demo, I will just keep it to no. You can also choose the start date and end date for this uh, enrollment method. And then uh, if you would like to en enroll someone who is not active in your Moodle course, then you can choose it here. So let me say that if someone is not uh, active after 90 days of enrollment, then he will be automatically unenrolled from this course. And in the next field, you can choose the welcome message, which needs to be sent uh, to the course uh, members who are using this enrollment method. If you choose here, then you can uh, mention the custom welcome message in this field. In the next section, you can have a user filtering. So you can also uh, filter out some users based on some restrictions. So by clicking this add 
restriction button you can uh, either have a grouping or a user profile or a combination of restrictions set to uh, restrict some specific users you can also group the users who are coming from this enrollment methods and create some specific groups based on the different fields and you can give them a group name kindly note that this will only uh, enable when you are using it for the user filter for other things it will not be enabled and then here you can define the limit so once you are done with your configuration settings you can just simply click on this add method button here now you can see that this auto enroll method is enabled for this Moodle uh, course and whenever a person who is uh, logging into Moodle site he will get automatic access to this specific Moodle course so this is how you can use this auto enroll Moodle plugin on your Moodle site also if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel and i really appreciate you watching till this point thank you very much have a great day bye bye